One Man's Family, now brought to you transcribed every weekday night at this time by Tabson, the new improved antihistaminic tablet for the symptoms of colds and hay fever, another fine, dependable product of Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. Overheard between Hazel and Father Barber at the family home. Has Paul been seeing much of Christine since she got back to see Cliff? Hazel, are you trying to flatter me with these questions? I don't know. Paul doesn't tell me anything. I live behind an iron curtain right here at home. Well, after all, Father, I don't know why Paul should talk to any of us about Christine. We didn't exactly welcome her with open arms when she was here before. Mm Mm-hmm. So that's how it is with the Barbers today. Have you sent for your liberal trial package of Tabson? If you're miserable with hay fever or a summer cold, you'll want to try Tabson. T-A-B-C-I-N. Tabson, the improved antihistaminic tablet that provides more than just an antihistamine and so offers more relief from hay fever and summer cold misery. Tabson contains a dependable antihistamine for quick relief from the sniffles, the sneezes, and the discomfort in the eyes and nose. But more than that, Tabson also provides a dependable pain reliever for the headache that so often accompanies summer colds and hay fever. And friends, right now, you can get a regular 45-cent trial package of Tabson from our regular stock for just 10 cents. Here's all you do. Send 10 cents with your name and address to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana. Send in that dime today, folks. This special offer ends this week, and you'll surely want to be in on it. Here's that address again. Send 10 cents to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana, for your regular 45-cent trial package of T-A-B-C-I-N, Tabson. Chapter 21, Book 76, The Book of Rexford Frome. It is mid-afternoon now in Seacliff, San Francisco, and Hazel Barber Murray dropping in at the family home finds her father in a shady corner of the upper terrace, lying on the sun chaise. Well, if ever there was a picture of complete relaxation... Oh, I'm sorry, Father. Were you napping? Huh? I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, no, Hazel. I, I'm wide awake. <laughs> Sit down. I'm glad to have somebody to talk to. You look too comfortable. Oh, no, no, no. Stay here. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I was just thinking I'm not as comfortable as I could be. Surely you're not complaining, Father. On a lovely terrace like this, on a pleasant afternoon, a clear sky, nothing to do. (laughs) If you could be more comfortable, just tell me how. Hammock. Pardon? In my hammock, Hazel. (laughs) Between the two maple trees at the Sky Rancher, there's solid comfort. With the children running down to talk to me and acres of quiet, rolling countryside. No unpredictable neighbor, cool drinks. Oh, by the way, don't let me forget. At three o'clock, I've got a day to go and buy quantities of lemonade. Oh, where? (laughs) Jack's little girls, they have a store. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes. Big enterprise. It's in the backyard over there. Oh, they have a packing case, old tablecloth, and... Ice cold lemonade, a penny a glass. I have a solemn engagement to arrive promptly at three o'clock and drink all the lemonade I can hold. Whose idea was this, Sharon Ann? Spontaneous combustion. They all thought of it at once. (laughs) (laughs) You'd better go with me. Well, maybe I will. (laughs) Enterprising little girls. Father, if you'd rather be at the Sky Ranch this summer, why don't you go up there? (laughs) Oh, I haven't felt free to go anywhere, Hazel, you know that. I wouldn't have an easy moment, not with Frome in the neighborhood. Besides, your mother thinks that Paul went there to be away from us all. Paul, what? Is Paul at the Sky Ranch? Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. When did he go? Last night. Well, had he been planning this? Oh, I don't know. He could have been planning it for six months for all the information I get from anybody. Suddenly, out of the blue sky, off to the Sky Ranch. Nobody tells me why. Oh, what about his work at the airport? Is this a vacation? I called a man at the airport, said take over, and away he went. Then it wasn't planned. Was or wasn't, I wouldn't know. I was saying to Fanny at noon, they should have Paul in the government atomic service. Why, these spies and traitors wouldn't pry any secrets out of Paul. Oh, no, anything's safe with him anyway. (laughs) Why are you staring at me that way? 
Oh, I was just thinking about Paul, Father, and this tragic situation with Christine and her brother. I'm so sorry for him. <laughs> Why did he have to fall in love with a woman whose brother is as mad as a hatter? I got that fellow's measure the moment I saw him. Has he been seeing much of Christine since she got back? Are you trying to flatter me with these questions? I thought you'd know that. Oh, if he sees Christine, it's after I'm in bed, he says. Well, after all, I don't know why he should confide in any of us. We didn't exactly welcome Christine with open arms when she was here before. Yeah. You know very well we didn't make things too easy for Paul last year when they were first engaged. Meaning me, I presume? I mean all of us. Yeah. Well, I, I might have voiced a little objection, but I wasn't referring so much to Christine as to her brother. Yes, yes I was right about her brother from the first glimpse I, I got of him. Father, I think we're all a little ashamed of ourselves if the truth were known. Christine's a lovely person. A celebrated, beautiful woman. And Paul loves her. Henry! Yes, Fanny, I'm here on the terrace. It's three o'clock. Oh, uh, Fanny, come on out. Hazel's here. Hello, my dear. Hello, Mother. I was about to come in. It's three o'clock, Henry. Uh, what about it? Oh! Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I, I have an engagement. What's the matter? <laughs> foot went to sleep. Yeah, I was asleep and everything about me woke up except my right foot. <laughs> hey, Hazel, you want to come along? This will be very entertaining. Now, don't take her away, Henry. I just got out here. Tell them I'll be over later, Father. Yes, well, perhaps that's better anyway. Space their customers out a bit. Well, I won't be long. Now he'll drink so much lemonade he'll upset his stomach. <laughs> Where do they have the store? Under the kitchen window on the north side. Betty keeps an eye on them. North side? Why, that's right next to Frome's driveway. I understand Christine was their first customer this morning. At least that's the rumor. Of course, it could be Sharon Ann's... Um... Imagination? <laughs> well, that's the nicest word for it. Jack says she embroiders things dreadfully. <laughs> Anyway, they had their store set up and going strong before Betty noticed. They were calling lemonade, a penny a glass. Hmm. And while the other five were running errands, you know, Sharon's quite a manager, it seems that Christine came out and was perfectly charming. All sounds very reasonable. I'm sure she is charming. Uh, Mother, Father seemed pretty vague about Paul's sudden decision to go to the Sky Ranch. That's because your father doesn't keep his eyes open, Hazel. I can guess what happened. I told Henry this noon, but he didn't listen. He was improving the foreign policy this noon. Oh, Mother. He says people don't tell him things, but when they do, he's talking. Now, don't tell me you two have had trouble. Oh, of course not. It's just that he's been so concerned about Christine's brother that it simply hasn't occurred to him that Paul and Christine have had a dreadful experience. I know, I know. Your father will suddenly see it from Paul's point of view one of these days, Hazel. When he does, he'll be heart sick about it. What happened last night, do you think, Mother? Paul had a message from Christine when he came home from the airport, and he left and went over to Frome's. Oh? Anyway, <clears throat> Paul came into dinner looking, oh, I don't know, Hazel. His eyes were tired, and his thoughts were a million miles away. Mm -hmm. And then a little after dinner, he came downstairs with his luggage and said he was going to Sky Ranch. He'd already phoned Claudia, and away he went. Henry! Father. Hmm. Oh, don't hurry so, Henry. It'll keep. My goodness, what is it? Oh, 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 I've got some good news, Fanny. I've got some good news. Yes, Cindy. Well, tell us. What is it, Henry? Henry, how would you like to cast worry to the winds and have a vacation, eh? How would you like the cool mountain breezes and the quiet of sky ranch, eh? A little rest for a change. Long nights of solid sleep. How would you like that, eh? What was in that lemonade? <laughs> oh, delicious lemonade. I had four glasses. <laughs> They're selling it at a penny a glass. Well, they can't make money that way, and I told them so. I figured it out for them. Now, yours will cost you a nickel, Hazel. Uh -huh. <laughs> I firmly believe in free enterprise, even if it costs me money. Henry, keep to the point. What are you so excited about? Over there in Frome's driveway is the most beautiful van and storage truck you ever saw in your life. They're leaving. In the next few days, yes. In the next few days, family. 
Did you see Christine, Father? Oh, no. Sarah Nan asked the truckman. Oh, my, that's Sarah Nan. She'll be a female interviewer someday, mark my words. The questions that girl can ask. Oh, what was going out, she asked. Why, she asked. Because the people in the house were going away to Europe. When, she asked. Next few days, he said. Why, she asked the questions faster than they came into my mind. Father, were you there when she asked them? Oh, yes, I, I heard it, Hazel. Well, Annie, do you realize what this means? That's the end of this miserable from business, eh? Off to Europe. Good riddance. Here, here, here. Why are you looking so solemn, you two? This is an occasion for celebration. Brighten up. Now I know for sure why Paul went to the Sky Ranch. Huh? He said goodbye to Christine last night, Henry. And he knew it would be for the last time. Oh, of course, Mother. Huh? It's time we gave some thought to Paul, Henry. This has been a tragic time for him. When are you going to realize that? Oh, oh yes, I... I didn't think of that side of it, family. I, uh, yes, I, I wonder, is there anything, do you suppose, that I could do? be here in just a moment with further developments. If you have hay fever or a summer cold, you'll want to send for your trial package of Tabsin. T-A-B-C-I-N, Tabsin, is an improved antihistaminic tablet. It's different. It can do more for you. Tabsin provides an effective antihistamine for the relief of sneezes and sniffles, the watery and itching of the eyes and nose, but it does more. Tabson also acts fast to relieve the pain and distress of the headache that so often accompanies summer colds and hay fever. Mail a dime today for your regular 45-cent trial package of Tabson. Yes, get in on this special offer. Here's all you do. Send 10 cents with your name and address to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana. We'll send you a regular 45-cent trial package of Tabson from our regular stock. This is the final week of this special offer, so don't delay. Send 10 cents to Miles Laboratories, Box 30, Elkhart, Indiana, for your regular 45-cent trial package of Tabson. All right, Paul. Here at the Sky Ranch, we were talking about Dad just now, and I told Claudia that looking out of my window into the garden the other evening, I saw Dad do a very strange thing. He was on his knees where he had been weeding for some time. He started to get up and then stopped. He looked toward the house to see whether anyone was watching and then crawled on his hands and knees six or eight feet behind an evergreen bush. Presently, he got to his feet. I don't know. I've come to expect just about anything from Dad, but this performance is beyond me. Well, that's how it is with the barbers today. Good night. Friends, here's something to keep in mind this summer. For the discomfort and itching of sunburn and heat rash, use Bactine. That's B-A-C-T-I-N-E, Bactine. A remarkable new product with amazing effectiveness. Bactine is a clear, colorless liquid with a fresh, clean odor. Does not stain the skin or clothing. Has a soothing, cooling effect on sunburn and heat rash. Helps take out the burn. Get it at once from your druggist. Keep it handy. And when sunburn or heat rash brings discomfort, bathe it with Bactine. B-A-C-T-I-N-E, Bactine, 30 and 70 cents a bottle. One Man's Family is brought to you transcribed every weekday night at this time by Miles Laboratories, makers of Tabson. Tomorrow, Chapter 22, Book 76. This is a Carlton E. Morse production, directed by Michael Raffetto. Men, women, and children in European countries are still hungry. That's why such men as General Eisenhower and Herbert Hoover have endorsed CARE. Each CARE package is delivered in your name to any individual in Europe you may specify. Just send your money to C-A-R-E, CARE, New York City. You will receive a signed receipt upon delivery of your package. A receipt of happiness, both for you and for some hungry person abroad. One man's family comes to you from California. Stay tuned for Morgan Beatty and direct reports on the first big American push in Korea. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.